It all started basically in 2005. Uh, we had such a huge success on these festivals um, that we knew we wanted to go back out again. But to be here and make another record, pretty incredible. And especially to have this almost original lineup is, is really fantastic. I haven't played with Wolf for about 15 years. In 2005 we did a tour, but we haven't really written anything from the from, you know, composing level. And uh, we always were like, the writing team and accept and we're just made for each other when it comes to writing so it was a thrill. End of the day the people want more back in 2005 when we do the uh, reunion shows but uh, Udo doesn't agree to continue and so the whole thing stopped. But Udo was supposed to be part of this you know it was we, we did the festival tour in 2005 and it was cut kind of short because Udo was busy with Udo, which we understood. All of a sudden, like I said, just by pure luck, we found Mark. I got a phone call from a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine who I was doing some playing with at the time, and he uh, asked me if it was okay if he gave out my phone number. And I said, to who? And he says, to uh, Peter Baltus. This is the bass player from Accept. He goes, yeah. When we met Mark, we were, we were totally amazed because all of a sudden we have somebody who sounds like Udo, but is not a clone. He's got his own character. We thought, well, why not start another version of Accept with Mark? So we figured, you know, this might be a, a, an opportunity. It, it's maybe the stars aligned in the right order or something, but all of a sudden we felt there's a chance for us and there's a chemistry that's, that's probably going to work well. You can hit this high range, like this Halford type of range, which we were not accustomed to. We remember that 20 years ago with Udo, but now we have somebody who can, you know, it, it gives us room to write some other material where this can work in. There's definitely a lot of pressure, but I don't see it as pressure to uh, to be, how should I put this, to be an exact replacement or replica of, you know, of Udo, but uh, I, I see it as trying to be true to what Accept is, and I think we're, I think we're doing that. If I would describe it, I would say uh, uh, back to the glory early days. If you think where would it fit in with the old ones, for instance, I think it would just be right there with Balls of Wall, Wrestlers and Wild, Breaker. If you put these three albums together, melt them together in a big bucket of steel, out comes the new record. Well, we found Andy, well basically he found us <laughs> through a mutual friend. We talked with Andy about possibly producing our record and um, we met and uh, Turns out Andy is a, a Accept fan from very early on. And I must have had 20 different vinyls in different colours, picture discs, uh, you know, clear vinyls, um, anything Accept I could get my hands on, I was, you know, hooked. And one of the first things Andy did when we met, he forced us, locked us up in a room and forced us to uh, listen all the way through to Restless and Wild and Breaker and Metal Heart and all these records and pointed out things that he thought were specifically Accept. I was aware of a lot of little traits that made Accept sound like Accept. You know, little little pushes on the drums, the anthemic feel at times, the, the scales, the, the, the riffiness of it at times. Um, so I, I just wanted to make them aware of this. And so it was interesting to see you know, what they liked about the old recordings, what they didn't like, you know, I mean, you could see uh, Wolf and Peter, when they listened to it, they'd, they'd both sort of screw their eyes up at the same time, you know, and I'd be sat there going, oh, that's, that's a classic moment. And there's Andy pointing out, that's you guys and that is not you guys. So that was very helpful. And um, 
that's I think that that that's why the songs came out the way they did. I still see Accept as being a German band, even with me in it. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, not so much the outsider, but I'm. Uh, I'm becoming slightly German. You know, I live in the States now for 24 years. You know, we're all, all over the place, all over the world, but we have our German roots. And basically, mainly that comes from the, the style of music we're playing, which is still rooted in that uh, European heavy metal, your know, Wolf's influence, the classical influence. Um, I'm not a trained classical guitar player or anything, but I've always had a love for classical music. I sort of always loved the beautiful melodies that, that, that and the chord structures that are in, in classical music. So I've always tried to incorporate little bits and pieces in, into our stuff. Um, so if you listen to Metal Heart, for instance, there's some really strong elements of classical music in there. And I think that's, that's what makes Accept the, the, all these different ingredients. Yeah. 